Hello children, welcome back to my channel that is easiest way to learn the things physics by imagination. Dear children, in this class we are going to learn about electricity. Okay, so from this chapter we could easily expect a minimum 4 MCQs. Okay, so first without wasting time let us learn things very soon. First one is electric current and circuit. So what is electric current? Dear children, when you take metals, here what is going to happen? When we take metals, they are the good conductors of heat and electricity. So after providing potential difference, the electrons will come to surface of the atom and constitute electric current. It means what children, the rate of flow of electrons in one second, the rate of flow of electrons itself it is there. The number of electrons which are moved in one second, that is called electric current, which is given by formula I is equal to Q by T. Q means it is a charge. One charge is moved in one second. So the unit of Coulomb, that is Coulomb is the unit of charge. So when one Coulomb of charge is moved in one second, that is called one ampere. One ampere. Now here in one Coulomb of charge, we can find that that is 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons will be present in one Coulomb of charge. So in that one second, it is going to move those many electrons. Next, we understood about electric current and ampere, we come to the point electric circuit. Very simple, let us take a simple circuit. Okay, so now this is a simple circuit. Now here what is there children? This is called a resistor, this is called a battery. Okay, so the big line is called positive terminal, small line is called negative terminal and this is closed plug key. So now what is circuit? It is the schematic diagram to show the different components like resistor, rheostat, voltmeter, ammeter, etc, etc. And shows the path of the current that is called electric circuit. We have different electric circuit. Let us understand within 3 minutes all the circuits. First one that is cell. Big line, small line. So what is cell? Ma? That is first one is big line, small line. This is cell. Second one is combination of cells becomes battery. So this is about cell. So this becomes the symbol for battery. Third one is very easy like zigzag motion that is called a resistor. If arrow mark is there means what children? Rheostat. Next voltmeter ammeter is very easy. Just you put a circle. If you write V voltmeter, if you write A ammeter, just plus minus plus minus means you are going to show positive terminal and negative terminal. Next, we are going to discuss cut wire and joint wire. The children very easy. Now, this is cut wire. Cut wire? No, it is a joint wire. This is where gap is there, that is called a cut wire. Where gap is not there, that is called a joint wire. So, we discussed all the symbols. Later on, we will move to easily to discuss. Last but not least, open key plus plug key and closed plug key. This is open plug key. This is closed plug key. Dot is my edge. That is closed plug key. So we discussed electrical symbols. Come to the point potential difference. Potential difference. The meaning of potential means to move. So actually the source of potential difference is cell and battery. Dear children, when we connect to this one to a battery, so what happens here, which gives the energy, n's electrons will move and constitute electric current. So what we are give, going to do the work, that is called potential difference. And what we are going to give the work, that also call it as electric potential difference. So by using these things, I am going to define what is potential difference. 
Dear children, the amount of work done to bring this charge from point A to point B that is called potential difference means the amount of work done to bring the charge from one point to another point that is called potential difference. If I bring this charge from infinity to one point or one point to infinity that is called electric potential difference that is the amount of work done to bring the charge from infinity to one point is called electric potential difference. Now we will understand the formula for potential difference that is potential difference is equal to work by charge as I told you after doing the work after doing the work charge will get energy they will start to move and construct electric current so one joule per one coulomb it is called one volt they may ask you children one volt similarly electric potential difference also we can write that electric potential difference which is equal to w by q again the unit of electric potential difference what children that is volt remember this work is equal to energy sometimes you may ask you calculate energy because what is the energy the capacity to do work is called energy now so remember sometimes you may mention instead of work energy later on come to the point resistance and resistivity very easy when i am walking what is going to happen so if i have sufficient energy i can walk for a long time if i don't have sufficient energy what do i do i walk slowly same thing children here there is a positive ions which are present in the atom there is there will be a collision between these positive ions and the electrons electrons will come to the surface of the atom they will start to move but due to this collision there is a opposition of force that is called resistance it means the opposition to the flow of electric current electrons are coming this is moving stopping electrons are moving forward so the opposition to the flow of electric current is called resistance what is resistivity the amount of change of resistance per unit area per unit length per unit time is called resistivity okay so here very easily to understand this resistivity it is independent on length because i told you the amount of change of resistance in one second let it be one kilometer length no matter it will be constant now we have the formula resistivity is equal to ra by l we can re remember as rala rala that is rala what is r resistance what is a area l means length of the conductor rho means resistivity now if i keep r is equal to constant rho into l divided by a it becomes r is directly proportional to l as length increases resistance increases very important children you will focus here as length increases resistance increases and inversely proportional to area if area increases resistance decreases because the number of charged particles will move at greater speed hence resistance will decrease next come to the fifth point that is heating effect of electric current before this i can give a mnemonic that is yant length what is the symbol children yant length so they may ask you too much many times the factors which affect the resistance that is area of conductor nature of the material temperature of temperature length of the wire very important in the case of conductor if temperature increases resistance will increase but in the case of semiconductor if temperature increases resistance decreases come to the fifth point heating effect of electric current heating the effect of electric current best example is iron box electrical water heater are the best example for this so what is this let us take electrical heater imagine this is the heater it means what happens here this resistance is going to cause the heat means when we pass the conductor i mean when we pass the current to the conductors like alloys they will be having more resistance dear children remember in conductors are having less resistance 
insulator having more amount of resistance semiconductors are medium resistance so when we pass the current to the conductor like alloys okay what happens here there is a opposition then what happens here due to that collision between positive ions and electrons going to cause heat so that heating effect of electric current means the amount of when we pass the amount of current in the conductor produces heat that is the meaning of heating effect of electric current and it is explained by a famous scientist jolls he tells that the amount of heat energy produced in the conductor is square of the current resistance and time taken if means if we increase current it will increase if resistance will increase i mean if i use more alloys which has more resistance amount of heat energy will increase time increases heat energy will increase so example electrical water or iron box nowadays we are having uh, automatic iron box if uh, boil the water about one hour it will be dancing uh, like anything so this is about joule's law that is the amount of heat energy produced in the conductor is directly proportional to the square of current resistance and time taken okay they are directly proportional to each other in this chapter ohm's law and joule's law is very important now joule's law we understood let us understand about ohm's law because very easy to understand what is ohm's law same thing here we are current passing in the conductor i told you what is potential difference we are going to do the work hence charged particles will be moved so that he is telling that if voltage increases if we pass the voltage to the conductor then current will constitute it means the amount of passing current in the conductor is directly proportional to the applied potential difference at constant pressure and temperature because as i told you in the conductors if temperature increases what happens that is resistance increases directly proportional to each other so according to ohm's law we can write the equation v is equal to i into r okay this is a proportionally constant term r is resistance so r is equal to v divided by i it means if when we supply 1 volt then 1 ampere of current will be flown that is called 1 ampere last but not least electrical power within 2 minutes you'll understand what is power the amount of work done in 1 second if you do more work in less time power is more if you do more work in less time power is less so w is equal to p into t p is equal to v into i we know that power is equal to product of v into i so it becomes h is equal to v into i into t v is equal to i into r if a substitute you will get joule's law h is equal to i square into r into t so now here we understood about this if a substitute v is equal to i into r we will get p is equal to i square into r if a substitute i is equal to v by r we will get v square by r so last but not least rs is equal to rn plus r2 plus r3 the children it is diagram very easy when the resistors are connected in series which have more resistance and the equivalent resistance is given by rs is equal to rn plus r2 plus r3 fifth one 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 here when we connect the resistors in parallel what is going to happen it is going to have minimum resistance it has advantages children when we connect resistors in our wires or bulbs in parallel it is going to avoid short circuit okay we can pass the current to many devices okay there is no effect about short circuit this is the advantages when we connect wire resistors or anything which is connected in parallel okay dear children in this chapter we should focus on ohm's law joule's law and symbols resistant and resistivity very important thank you children for listening if you like please share and subscribe